Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this special remote edition of All-Star Wrestling Program. I am your host, the freshly shaven Gage Bright. This Saturday night, Zawa Live brings you Get Over or Get Out from Northside Barbecue in Oregon, Illinois. Let's take a look at the match card and see what we've got in store for you this weekend. As you've probably seen in Zawa Live, we've had to deal with quite a few legal teams, and this weekend is no exception. Connor, the legal team of Zawa Live champion Connor Hopkins has demanded that this weekend also be Connor Hopkins Appreciation Night. Yay. Let's hear from the champ and how he expects Connor Hopkins Appreciation Night to go. Hello there, Zawa Live faithful. It is your champ, champ speaking. And I gotta say, you know, it's not easy being a successful documentary filmmaker and double champion. You know, I got a lot of places I gotta be. I got a lot of media obligations to talk to, business deals to make. <sighs> Living life at the top, it's rewarding. And I wish that you could empathize with me, but none of you schmucks have ever even been close to the peak that I'm on. I just got back from a full day of press junkets and media briefings, and I'm here in my studio to tell you folks exactly what's going on on March 20th. In fact, here, hold these. That's what I pay you for. It's been such a long day, I didn't even have time to get out of the suit jacket yet. Hold this. Give me those. Now. Faster. What do I pay you for? Sorry, new kid. Anyway, your champ champ has been politely respecting the Zawa Live Fireweight and Heavyweight Championships, and I think that uh, this Saturday, it's finally time that I am showed some of the appreciation that I feel so neglected. And you know, I hear your boos and I hear your mean comments, and honestly, even though I am fantastic and I am great, it starts to eat away at me just a little bit. So I've decided, and well, my attorney too, we've decided that this Saturday, March 20th, is now Connor Hopkins Appreciation Night. That's right. We are going to be respecting and appreciating and congratulating all of my achievements in the fields of excellence. And well, it's going to be a great time, folks. I can't wait for you to finally show me the adoration that I so desperately deserve. I don't need it per se, but honestly, there comes some times when you just got to let them know how great you really are. So I'll see you March 20th. Make sure to dress up. This is a formal affair, okay? And I don't want you slobs looking as you normally do, which is, well, quite frankly, to pick a word, pathetic. I'll be seeing you, all of you wonderful and smelly Zao Alive fans there, please try not to ruin this for me. It's going to be a very special night, all right? Mr. Havens and Rip Studwell are set to go head-to-head -head this weekend in a rematch from last month at the Happy Spot in Deer Grove. Let's hear from each man as their collision is set for this week. Last month... I took my bodybuilding acumen to Deer Grove to teach them all and Mr. Havens some valuable lessons in working out. And what was I given in return? The crowd booing me. The crowd mocking me after Mr. Havens turned it into a joke. The crowd flocking to Mr. Havens, the man who hasn't worked out since year one. Instead of flocking to me, I mean, look at me. Yeah, mm, look at me. Oh, sorry, got sidetracked. Can't blame me though, right? 
You see, this Saturday, I'm going to teach Mr. Havens another valuable lesson. A valuable lesson in payback. <laughs> oh, man. He's way more entertaining than you, Rip Wisswell. But anyways, your little, your little weights, they're cute. And you're doing the whole, I am Mr. Wonderful. That whole thing, I am Rip Wisswell. You are Rip Wisswell. And you couldn't beat me last month in Deer Grove. You're not going to beat me this month in Oregon. I don't know what you have in your head. But you know what? You try that body slam thing. You think you're stronger than you are. And I applaud you. You're a heck of a wrestler. When you've got your mind on straight. Your mind's not on straight. You can't beat me. You can't take the turkey weight belt. You can't beat Mr. Havens. You can try all you want. It's not going to happen, Rip Wisswell. So come to Oregon this Saturday. And you know what, fans? Watch me wipe the mat with Rip Studwell. I'll see you Saturday, bud. Mike Hartenbauer in Braxton, Chapter 3, is this weekend, as each man has a pinfall victory over the other. Let's hear from Hartenbauer himself as he breaks down this newfound rivalry with Braxton and how he expects to break the tie. This Saturday in Oregon at Zowa Live, Hartenbauer versus Braxton, round three. You see that, that first match we had, man, I didn't even have a problem with you. I was just doing my job, and I did it well, and I pinned you in the middle of the ring. One, two, three. You, you couldn't let me have it, could you? You couldn't let me have my post-match beers and carrot cake and celebrate and all that good stuff. You had to attack me after the match, didn't you? And you pissed me off. You earned yourself a second match. Good for you. And you beat me. You low-blowed me, you rolled me up, and you pulled my tights, but you beat me. That's not going to happen this Saturday. There will be no question as to who the better man is. And you see, I might be a good guy, but I'm a bad man. And you're going to find that out the hard way. See you Saturday. It looks like the Academy has a tall task ahead of them this weekend as they are in a gauntlet match to determine the number one contender for the Zawa Live Tag Team Championships. But Berna is confident he and Tyler Prego can get the job done. Remember the date. Remember the damn date. Put it in your calendar just because something it's in something you're never gonna forget. March 20th, 2021. The day that you will remember forever. Because you see, the Academy, the greatest tag team in Zao Live history, go into this as the veterans of the tag team division. No matter if it's just the little boy, Young Guns, Damien Deschain, and 12 Gauge, the children, young boys, or also slightly experienced, the Skimmerhorns. Because you can't sleep on them. They're a, good, they're a good team. But they're no academy. Me and Tyler are in the best shapes of our careers. So when we walk into this venue, into this match, we will outdog you. And we will reign supreme. And then later on in the night, we will go on to face the chop shop. I've been in the ring with Christopher Owens before, so has Tyler. I've been in the ring with Herrick before, so has Tyler. This won't be like our first meeting. Because now, I am more motivated. There's something with me that's totally different from our first exchange. And when that bell rings... We are going to eat you alive. The Academy are managed by none other than Captain Midnight Guthrie, who brought the Academy on board his yacht club in late 2020. Let's hear from the Captain and how he expects the Academy to perform. This is your Captain speaking. It's a beautiful Saturday morning right here outside the famous showboat hotel and casino in Atlantic City, because that's where wrestling takes the Captain. And wrestling takes the Yacht Club right over to the Atlantic Ocean. Yes, all the way from the Midwest to the Atlantic Ocean. Because we're rich with talent, rich with riches, 
and rich with opportunities. And what a great opportunity it is for our opponents at Zawa coming up to take on members of my yacht club. And I don't even understand how someone like Missa Kate is getting another opportunity at the Queen Bee. I don't care if it's a tag team match. We already beat you. You're teaming up with Mikey. Now, Mikey's a very talented competitor. He's a wild man. Yeah, he's even scarier, I think, because he shaved the facial hair and combed his hair down. It looks ugly as hell. Uh, but we're going to send you back underground there, Mikey, right on down to Anna. Yeah, Anna fight underground. <laughs> You'll be fighting six feet under, pal. Ooh, like the Undertaker. <sighs> but then we have, my God, the Academy. The strength, the ability, the agility, the accolades of the Academy. Giving a tag team opportunity to... Uh, Hunter Safety Education, what's their name? We got a Damien Desch Chain, Damien Destitute, and his uh, old friend there, uh, BB Gun 12 Gauge. Yeah, finally we get you in tag team action. We've been destroying you guys, absolutely destroying you. And I cannot wait till we put you down. We'll put you down in like two minutes, if that. It might not even take us that long. We're all going to whoop up on you. And it's going to be another beat down for 12 Gauge where the end result is his family, his mom is in tears, and his girlfriend's buying my t-shirt, because that's what happened last time. Your little girlfriend and her friend's like, oh my god, the captain and real man's come to town. Let me wear him all over my body all the time. So that's what happens with the captain. Rock the yacht. Riot Ramon is set to make his return to Zawa Live this weekend as he takes on Chip Collins. Let's hear from Riot Ramon and what he, how he expects this weekend to go. The demons hate you. The demons hate you. The demons hate you. The demons hate you. Bucky Collins is a disgrace. A man with a false idol. Connor Hopkins. For this sin, I will purify him through pain. He will be made an example so that all can see what happens when you give up control. Follow his example and fall, or follow mine and be free. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a free match here on All-Star Wrestling Program. Sit back, relax, kick your feet up, and enjoy. Which brings me to right now at this very moment. Right now, tonight, it goes down in the history books. Rough Daddy becomes a two-time Sour Alive champion. And if you like what I'm saying, I've always wanted to do this. Give me a hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Jump, 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 jump! Goodness, look who it is! Rough Crossing is seems to have a new attitude and new outlook on life. Rough Crossing is here for the first time in over a year in Zao Alive. Like you said, he seems to have a new attitude. He 
being a rude, crude, mean dude that no one likes to being a rude, crude, mean dude that everyone likes, and oh my! Right across the chest of Connor Hopkins. Did you but... hear that slap? Connor Hopkins didn't like that. Oh my goodness. No, he did not. Ruff dialed that one up all the way from Sweetgrass, Montana. Ruff and former Zawa Live champion and you crude, mean, loud, new dude. Ruff crossing. The very first match, the first match ever in Oregon. Yes, indeed, as you see. Connor Hopkins taking a while to get back in the ring after that humongous slap from a rough crossing. Finally back in the ring here. Connor issued an open challenge for the Zalma Live Championship as he claimed he was running out of competition. And now he issued the challenge and Ruff Crossing answered the bell. Careful what you wish for. Yeah, didn't they say? Yeah, he's ringing Connor Hopkins' bell right now. Here, the crowd is firmly behind Rough Crossing. Here, something we've really never heard. Rough is usually one of the more despised guys to ever set foot in his out live ring, but like you said, he's kind of changed his attitude a little bit. Is he's now calling for a headlock, telling Connor Hopkins to slap on a headlock. He's giving him a free shot at the headlock, and you see Connor just a little wary of it. Is he scared? That's I think that's almost a given at this point. I think we're going to be most men would be. Not really, I, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't give that up. I wouldn't either. No, heck no. But Ruff almost demanding it, saying slap on a headlock, and oh, shot to the midsection, and there's the headlock. Deep shot there by the Wild Child. Uh-oh, wait a minute, though. Oh, my, look at the power. Oh, my God! Slams him down there with authority. Connor Hopkins is... Not quite off to the best start, big power slam. Rough crossing, and look at this, another one! Just picking him up and setting him down on a third time. My God. And a man, up. do we see a fourth? Yes, we do! Stay down. And he does wisely. He rolls out of the ring, just flops on the ground like a bag of wet cement, but Rough Crossing says, uh-uh, you get back here. Here we are. Look out. Oh my goodness! Launches him back inside. Oregon, Illinois. Northside Barbecue. Sour Alive. Spaceballs the Wrestling Show. Sent to space! Oh goodness! And Rough Crossing. Just tattooing Connor Hopkins. And now boot right to the face. Oh, Slap across the head of Connor Hopkins. Connor Hopkins has not been able to get much in right now. No, he has not. Rough crossing in total control. Huge right hand. Well, that would hurt me from all the way over here. Yeah, that had a loud decibel level there. Crowd chanting chump. Connor Hopkins claiming he's not a champ, but a chump. Hopkins able to win the reset button tournament back last July. Yes. He moves out a life champion, held on to it ever since. And now look at this. What's Ruff thinking here in the corner? Oh, and another chop! That got a lot of the chest to Connor oh. Hopkins there. Ruff got all of that one. The crowd and Ruff showing that mean side we're all accustomed to, but the crowd is loving it this time. What is Ruff Crossing gonna do here now? He's already beat Connor Hopkins all around this ring. Oh, and another chop! One more. Good measure. Uh oh, here he comes, full head of steam, went for the boot, look out! Oh my! Up and over. Hunter Hopkins able to get out of the way, and thank goodness for that, because that would have just decapitated him. Up crossing got real aggressive there, and Connor Hopkins able to use that aggression against the former Zalala champion. Yes, took his own momentum against him. Hunter 
Hopkins in on the attack. He's already got rough crossing down and he's got to get let up here. Connor Hopkins just, well, you know, I, I mixed feelings at best, we'll say. I, I admire, you know, he's the Zawa Life champion for a reason. But a lot of those reasons kind of include, we'll call it help during matches and questionable tactics, but I digress. He is now teamed up with the Fireweight Champion, newly crowned Fireweight Champion, ringside here, Jim Gowan. Yes, but we saw Connor Hopkins was holding on to that belt. He seemed to think he was the champion. Uh-oh, and meanwhile, Rough Crossing catches him. Uh-oh, he's calling for that tombstone. Please look at Chip Collins off the backside table topping. And look at Connor into the cover, but Ref doesn't see it. Here we go, into the cover, and Ruff kicks out at one. Chip Collins kind of log rolled out of there after throwing a chair in to save his friend. Speaking, that's what I was talking about, help during matches. Yeah, that was right on cue there for you, because... No kidding, I called it. I knew it. Yeah, you did. You're a regular Tony Romo. Yes, indeed. Oh, and look at, look at Connor Hopkins just... Scraping rough crossing along that top rope face first. Shoulder, adjusting that shoulder brace. I've never even, does he even have a shoulder injury? You know, I don't know. Every time I try to ask him about it, he tells me to shut up. Uh, yeah. So, that's the last I ever talked to him, I guess. But again, just holding him up on those ropes. Senior official Quinn Jones here for your championship match. One of the best in the Midwest. No doubt about that. Oh, look out! Big knee right to the side of Ruff's head. Right, right on the head there. This indeed the Zawa Live champion. You see Chip Collins' ominous presence, presence on the outside. Yes, you see there again. Look at. Oh, and look at. Here comes Chip! And knee to the side of the head again. Imitating his brother, or his mentor. Hopkins distracting the referee there. Stranger to referees has just an overall disdain for them. We're going to kick out a little crossing there. Bucky Collins was defeated by Connor Hopkins. Said to join him. Can't beat him. Join him. That old became his problem. Oh, look at Rough Crossing though, fighting back here. Big right hands right to the head of Connor Hopkins. Rough trying to get some momentum back here. Oh, and the knee goes up on Hopkins. Knee to the midsection sends Ruff up and over into the cover now, and Ruff kicks out at two. Chip Collins on the outside looks in patiently. Two count only, though. Ruff crosses over the power's way out. Oh, and he comes in with that big uppercut to the back forearm. Gonna start a Connor Hopkins chance. That that's not gonna go over well, sir. No. Continues, but it seems like Connor Hopkins just relishes in it. And look at again holding rough on that middle rope. Hold on to it in the last second. Look at Coin Jones backing him up into the corner. He's too no stranger to the rope, but look out, Ralph Ref has his back turned. Chip hits that tumbleweed. Coin Jones taking the very authoritative approach here. Back and oh, hold on. Two count only. More of that. Hands-on approach as these two. Remember, Connor Hopkins super kicked Coin Jones right in the head a few months back. Yeah, Coin Jones maintaining that professionalism, of not letting any kind of bias take care, take precedent in this match. He's going right square down the middle. Then though, Connor distracted the referee, let allowed Chip to get that tumbleweed and further weakened Ruff Crossing. Oh, big boot there from Connor Hopkins. Hopkins taking control. Of big uppercut there, yes, he's taking firm control here. Nightmare takeover there. Big kick and he got it. Into the cover to retain his championship. No, Rough Crossing kicks out at two again. You notice Connor Hopkins is going for a full cover there. Yes, Maybe, you, get, you never know. Well, you gotta go for those full covers against a powerhouse like Rough Crossing. Look at, look at this, oh, raking on the, raking all over the face and the eyes. Questionable tactics here for the wild child. High flying action, eh? High flying action. Not known for his high flying action. Well, he's, 
looking like he's going to head upstairs, but... Oh, my God. Oh, goodness. Drops the axe handle off the bottom rope. Into the cover. Hands to chest and rough crossing kicks out of two. Yeah, that was not high flying. That was not high flying. I guess that is for him, maybe. Yeah. Must be scared of heights. I don't know. He gets nosebleeds easily. Well, wait a minute, though. Look at this. He's heading up a level, going to the Did middle rope now. Wow. I'm getting a little crap for that. Big elbow now, drop, takes off the pad and drops it down on Rough Crossing again. Right across the throat. Yes, indeed. Will this, will this be enough here into the cover? No, Rough Crossing gets the shoulder up again. Living to fight another day as Rough Crossing is... Connor Hopkins really went halfway up now. Up there. Going to the danger zone. Uh, we have low ceilings here. Watch yourself. Oh, but look at Rough Crossing able to get back up to his feet and ground that flight before it even took off. Oh, look out! And launching Connor Hopkins back across the ring. Overhead slam from Rough Crossing. He just throws Connor Hopkins across the ring. Okay, so that's why you didn't want to go up to the top. I, okay, that's justifiable. And Rough Crossing just throws you like a sack of potatoes. From pillar to post. No oh, kidding. Now, Rough Crossing trying to get back up to his feet. He's taken quite the beating in this matchup, but he can see his second reign as our live champion. He's got it in his sights. Rapids doesn't know where he's at. Oh, look out! Just bulldozing right through Connor Hopkins with those big elbows. Connor misses the button on the clothesline up. Oh, and look out. Oh, goodness. Flapjack there from Rough Crossing. Woo, flip that one right on the griddle, and he drops the big leg there. For a new champion, does he have enough? And Connor Hopkins kicks out at two. Connor Hopkins showing some resiliency as this outline champion. Just that close for Rough Crossing, though. I don't know what he's got to do to... Uh-oh! On to take him to Tombstone City. Hunter Hopkins, a one-way ticket to Tombstone City. Uh, Crossing has sent many of men there in, his, in their career, and none of them have come back. He's trying to go for that Tombstone pile driver, but Connor Hopkins able to fight out of it all. Cheap shot to the back of the knee. Chop block kick there. Oh, went for the super kick, but Rough Crossing able to catch it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, big neck breaker! Tells referee Coin Jones, hold the leg, and he does. New champion, no! Connor Hopkins kicks out at two. Two count there. So close for Rough Crossing to almost be the two time Zawa Live champion. What is Chip doing with that what? chair? Oh, goodness. Chip Collins has brought a chair into the matchup. No! Crossing. He's going to have to end this and end this one now. Flex City, he says. Here we go, he's got him up. Hangs it. Hanging. Oh, but Connor Hopkins able to roll off the back shoulder and catches him with the big elbow. Come on, Ruff. Hopkins going up to that middle rope. No! Tried to go for the crossbody, but Ruff caught him in midair. This fucking Ruff be thinking. Here plants him with the big boot. Stomps on him. Oh, goodness. Into the cover. New champ. Oh, and look at Chip Collins. Throws his jacket right at, and blaming the kid says there was a kid who took it off and threw it at him. No, no, no! That, that's got to be grounds for disqualification. Come on! That was a three count all the way for Rough Crossing. He should be a new champion here. And Chip Collins sinking to no level, new levels is blaming children for throwing it. And now he's clearly his jacket. Yes, he, 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 he saw him throw it. Don't understand. We did look, see look, him. look at look at look at how he's grabbing Rough Crossing's boot now. What? Chip Owen. Point Jones banning him from ringside. Kicks Chip Collins out. A shoot, escorting him off away from the ringside area. Really, and now look at face to face. Yelling and screaming, but the ruling was made. Chip Collins is banned from ringside for the remainder of this matchup. 
He is very reluctant to leave, and Chip Cotton. Now Doc Simmons. Oh, it's Doc Simmons, the former Fireweight champion, helping Coin Jones get him to the back. What is going on here at Northside Barbecue? It's like chaos. Ross Crossing is going to go to end things here. Uh oh. He's going to put the finishing touches on Connor Hopkins. Hey, your prayers, Connor Hopkins. I think it's all over for you, buddy. Here comes Rob. Oh, wait a minute! That chair! Connor Hopkins sticks the chair up and catches Rough Crossing across the head. There's the cover, but we have no official. And oh, and here comes Coin Jones again, rolling in into the cover. And Connor Hopkins retains. By hook or by crook, mostly by crook, Connor Hopkins is still your Zawa Live champion. No doubt about it. Another unfortunate abuse of power and privilege. Dakota and Bailey Bright. They were friends. They were roommates. They were former Zawa Live tag team champions. But none but that is no more. On April 17th, these two will collide head to head. But this weekend, they will sign a contract for their match, and they will pick the stipulation of that match as well. Let's hear from Bailey Bright as he breaks down what he's going to do to Dakota. So apparently, this moron that they call Dakota has somehow been given another match against me April 17th at Zao Live season finale. For God knows what reasons, especially after what I did to him in our first match back in February, and I can promise that this one is going to turn out just as bad, if not worse, for him. As a matter of fact, I don't even care what kind of match this is, because either way, I'm going to embarrass you, Dakota. I'm going to brutalize you. So before we get there, this Saturday, March 20th in Oregon, Illinois, at this little contract signing, I'm gonna let you pick your poison. You get to choose what kind of match this ends in, but get one thing straight. It ends April 17th, and it ends with me getting my hand raised above your mangled corpse. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for this edition of All Star Wrestling Program. As always, your host, Gage Bright, says thank you so much for watching, and we will see you this weekend at Zawa Lives. Get over or get out from Northside Barbecue in Oregon, Illinois. Doors open at 5.30, bell time 6 o'clock. We'll see you then. Have a good night.